there are basically three types of motion. These include linear motion, vibratory or oscillatory motion, and circular motion. In linear motion, an object moves in a straight line. In oscillatory motion, an object moves to and fro about a particular point. And in circular motion, an object moves in a circular path. We have studied the first two types of motion, that is linear motion and oscillatory motion. In this topic, we will study circular motion. We will study what we refer to as uniform circular motion. Uniform circular motion involves an object moving in a circular path with a constant speed. We have also seen that an object is said to accelerate when its velocity changes. An object is said to accelerate when its velocity changes. We have also studied the difference between speed and velocity. Although the two terms are used as if they mean the same thing, we have seen that the two physical quantities are distinct. We will start this lesson by reviewing the differences between them. This will enable us to understand the fact that an object moving in a circular path with constant speed is said to be accelerating. So the objective of this lesson is as follows. By the end of this lesson, I will expect you to prove that an object moving in a circular path with a constant speed is accelerating. Prove that an object moving in a circular path with a constant speed is accelerating. So let us review the main differences between speed and velocity. While speed is distance covered per unit time, velocity is displacement per unit time. In other words, velocity is speed in a specified direction. Speed is a scalar quantity. A scalar quantity is one which has magnitude only. So speed has magnitude only. Velocity, on the other hand, is a vector quantity. It has both magnitude and direction. Speed is actually the magnitude of the velocity. Now, when is speed said to change? Speed is said to change when its magnitude only changes. Velocity, on the other hand, is said to change when either its magnitude changes or direction changes or both magnitude and direction changes. This last distinction between speed and velocity is important. Speed is only said to change when its magnitude changes. But velocity is said to change in three ways. That is, when either its magnitude changes but the direction remains the same, or when the direction changes and magnitude remains the same or when both the magnitude and direction change. These are the three situations when velocity is said to change. I want you to remember this distinction as we go through this lesson. Now let us study an object moving in a circular path with constant speed. Such an object is the moon orbiting the earth. The simulation shows the moon orbiting 
the earth. Its path around the earth is circular. It has a constant speed. Its velocity, however, is changing. How is this possible? How is it possible that its speed is constant and yet its velocity is changing? Consider the moon in this position. This position here. If the moon is at this point, the tangent to the circle is like this. A tangent is a line drawn at any point on the circumference in such a way that it just touches the circumference or the circle. For example, if we were to draw a tangent at this point, it will be a straight line which just touches the circle at that point. If it is at this point, a straight line just touches the circumference or the circle at that particular point. This arrow here is tangential to the circle at this point. When the moon is rotating in this direction, then the tangent has an arrowhead pointing in this direction. This is the direction of the moon at this instant. If the force that is making the moon move in a circular path around the earth were to cease, the moon will move in a direction which is tangential to the circle at this point. Let us see how this happens. So we have the moon orbiting the earth. The force which makes the moon orbit the earth like this is called gravitational force. This blue arrow shows the force exerted on the moon by the earth. This is the force which is responsible for making the moon to move around the earth in a circular path. You can see that the force is always pointing towards the earth. So we are saying, suppose we remove this force, how will the moon move? In which direction will it move? Can you guess the direction in which it will move? Let me pause it. In which direction will the earth move if we were to remove this force? Will it move towards the earth? Will it move away from the earth in this direction? Or in this direction? In this direction? In this direction, what will be the direction of the moon? So let me switch off the force of gravity so that it's no longer there. I've switched it off. In which direction will the moon move? So let's play the simulation. Watch carefully. So here I play the simulation once again. Do you see what has happened? Let us repeat that part. The moon is moving in a circular path around the earth. And then all of a sudden, we switch off the gravitational force at a given point. And here we switch it off. Let's see what happens. I switch it off. The moon flies off in a direction which is tangential to the circle at that point. This is proof that the direction of travel of the moon at any one point is tangential to the path at that point. In other words, if the moon is at this point, then the direction in which it is traveling at this instant of time is a tangent to the circle at that point and that tangent has an arrow pointing in this direction. If the moon was at this particular point, again you can see that will be the direction of the
tangent. At this point, the direction of the tangent will be this way. So we observe here that the direction of the tangent is changing with time. The direction of the tangent is changing with time. We have also seen that the direction of the tangent indicates the direction of the velocity of the moon at that point. The direction of the tangent indicates the direction of the velocity of the moon at that point. We have also seen that the direction of the tangent keeps on changing. So we can conclude that the direction of motion of the object keeps on changing. This one is very important. That the direction of the moon around the earth keeps on changing. That the direction of motion of the object keeps on changing. This is a very important point. This means that the direction of the velocity keeps on changing as well. At this point, we recall that acceleration is change in velocity per unit time. Since velocity of an object moving in a circular path is changing, then the object must be accelerating. This is despite the fact that the speed is uniform. Let me repeat this because it is very important. Since velocity of an object moving in a circular path is changing, then the object must be accelerating. This is despite the fact that its speed is uniform. Let me repeat this because it is very important. Since the velocity of an object moving in a circular path is changing, then the object must be accelerating. This is despite the fact that its speed is uniform. So let's stop this lesson at this point by recapping the following points. Point number one. Velocity being a vector quantity is said to change if either its magnitude or direction or both magnitude and direction change. Point number two. When the velocity of an object changes, the object is said to accelerate. Point number three. Uniform circular motion means an object moving in a circular path with constant speed. Point number four, and the most important point. When an object is in uniform circular motion, that is, it is moving in a circular path with constant speed, its velocity is changing because its direction of travel is changing continuously. Hence, the object is accelerating because any change in velocity is an acceleration. Remember the objective of this lesson was as follows. We had said that by the end of the lesson, you should be able to prove that an object moving in a circular path with constant speed is accelerating. How do you go about proving this? You must mention several things. You must mention at least three points and they are as follows. Although the speed of the object is constant, the direction in which the object is traveling is continuously changing. Since the direction of travel is changing, the velocity of the object is changing. Any change in velocity of an object is an acceleration. So an object moving in a circular path with constant speed is accelerating because its velocity is changing on account of the fact that the direction of travel is changing. In the next lesson, we shall state the direction of 
this acceleration.